Welcome back guys. Uh, today is day three in Copenhagen. We're just about to get the tube. We're going into the center and getting some food because it's late. It's nearly one. Uh, we're starving. So yeah, let's start the day. My face is peeling off my face. Uh. <laughs> feelings it was quite small and there wasn't really wasn't really that much to see so it wasn't the best I think just cruising through the streets with the Christmas decorations is cute but now we're gonna get some, some lunch because we're starving we finally got our lunch stop we've come to Cox and Cows which is a burger place so we're pretty excited for some burgers Ooh, this looks so good I've gone for the classic burger we've got some sweet potato fries and Fred's gone for some smoked burger about time um, and now we're going to go to Christiansborg Castle Palace, it's a palace. And it is where, at the moment, there's still the Parliament, the Prime Minister's Office, and the Supreme Court. So it's on this little separate island in a way in the centre, which is just eh. So that's what we're doing now. And it's absolutely freezing, just thought I mentioned. The wind today is brutal. Fred, where are you? There you are. Well, you were, before I lost you. So this is the map of the centre bit that I said that's split by the water and it is called Slotsholmen Slotsholm? yeah I'll go with that um, so this is the riding grounds this is where we are so we're going in here riding grounds then we got the parliament over here what's for I'm lost that's the tower which hopefully we'll be able to go up that's the prime minister's office over here so yeah let's go hello office that's that section and the section over there is the parliament and in the middle we've got the tower which we're going to see if we can go up the tower up here is pretty crazy it's actually really tall there's people just in that little bit there oh look at that view isn't that brilliant look at that oh nice we've seen it we can go now wow. so we've got ourselves tickets to the royal reception rooms time to put some fashion on our shoes <laughs> Sick. Yes, oh, mate. <laughs> Oof. Looks pretty snazzy. Let's get us a little map. So we're heading up the Queen's staircase, which is the first bit to the reception rooms. Going upstairs. It's so actually in this castle. There's different parts you can visit. We just got a ticket for the reception rooms because we think it's the coolest. We're not really interested in the ruins or the other sections. Where are we, my guide? This is the evolution of the castle, well palace now, so it used to be a castle all the way here, it was the Copenhagen castle and then it became the palace up here and it's now the third. Incredible. That's mad. This room is called the green room because, well, it's green. That's quite nice. And then down here we've got the Swedish gallery and then the Great Hall. Ooh, the Great Hall. Looking very good. So this big staircase here is the king's staircase. So the queen one that we came up is on the other side and now we're going down the king's one, which is pretty royal and regal. And there's King Frederick. All hail King Frederick. <laughs> we're going back through the Christmas market, but this time at night. It's got a bit more of a, uh, an atmosphere to it. 
I've just noticed in the main square there's these like little stairs going down. These stairs are actually toilets. So toilets are just under the main square. It's pretty practical. We're gonna go in the Lego store because we're children. Woo! Looks really busy though. Oh mate. Do you want this one? Oh yes. This is the one. <laughs> We've got a little replica of the streets of Copenhagen here. We're just getting outside the Tivoli Gardens entrance, which is like a big site here. It's an amusement park, but it's essentially also a big garden that you can visit. And the queue looks huge, so we're just going to have to try and wiggle our way through. Ooh. So this is the map of the gardens. It looks insane. We've got all the different rides, different places. Food, shops, dining. Wow, I think they got the rides. Is it on the other side? Yeah, there's all the rides, but you've got to pay extra for the rides. First impressions of just walking in. This is literally, as they said, a winter wonderland. It looks incredible. So these gardens are mainly open in summer, but they have a three week period from end of November to mid December, which is now, where they open the gardens up again and make it into like a winter wonderland. So we're pretty lucky to see this because it doesn't, it doesn't happen that long. <laughs> this is Joe. Look at this guy, he's having a great time. This poor guy doesn't look okay. I think he's just shivved himself with candy. The ship here, there's actually a restaurant on it, just in the lake here. That's so cool. And over there, there's the rides, I think. I think this is Chinatown here they've got, and the roller coaster goes all the way through it. These rides have had a crazy amount of detail put into them. Oh, they're so impressive. What do you think? Enjoy it? Yeah, it was, it was a bit steep, the price but it was just a lot bigger than I was expecting, um, but 100% worth it. Like, I know there's one in summer as well. In summer, it's supposed to be really cool. They kind of do season ones, but yeah, definitely do not miss it. It's not like ganja. Yeah. Ganja, always getting stronger. Cheeky shop. We've got our dinner going in preparation. These are our sausages to go with our spaghetti. And then we've got a little bit, well, our gin, that's the front of it. And our tomato sauce, should be pretty yummy. So we are currently doing our research to try and find a, a good bar club to go to this evening. Um, We're not too sure yet where to go, it's about 10.30, so we need to make a decision. How are you feeling this morning, buddy? Sick. You feeling alright? <laughs> bit rough? A bit rough? High tech bakery, what are we? 2.30. So we've got ourselves from this beautiful bakery, some Canel Snagel, which is, when I can open it, there we go. Ooh, they're basically cinnamon rolls, but like with their twist. Mmm, oh, it's really good. Mmm, we're having it on a bench by the canal here. This whole place 
as like it says it's kind of got resemblance to Amsterdam because of the canals it's got running up and down and there's boats yeah super cute and today we are starting the day off by going to Christianina um, which I'll tell you a bit about in a second so this is the entrance of Christianina one of them looks pretty funky this is very very random I don't really know what this is supposed to be So this seems to be a skate park back here. That's insane. What? I've noticed it's actually really peaceful around here. Like it's quite quiet. It seems very sort of relaxed and chill. of like shops and handicrafts here in this main section and over there it's loads of lanterns but it's a no photo zone so so we are currently in the streets of Christianina which is an untouched community so it was first established in 1971 by some squatters that came over and after a while the Danish government decided to just leave it untouched as a social experiment they didn't interfere so now they have their own guys their own rules hence there's like there's like hash weed sellers um, yeah, it's like a weird sort of community. So there's communal living, Ooh, watch out. communal living here, communal like business based work. Um, but it's such a weird sort of vibe here. It feels sort of like if there was an apocalypse and the human race decided to make a community like come back out like sort of Walking Dead vibe. It's very strange. So we've just come out and those are the walls of the community there, all graffitied up. I've walked back into the centre and we're right along this canal here with all the colourful houses. You probably recognise it's sort of the standard Copenhagen photo with the boats and all that. So there's been loads of photo taking and then we're going to head to the theatre, not the theatre, we're going to head to the library. The library is like a big black box, it's a super modern building. So first we're going to walk down these pretty Christmas streets. Right by the big black box library which is here, it's a huge building, so it's a Sunday so it's probably closed, makes sense. So now we are going to head, uh, where are you going, see that mermaid that's really underwhelming? What? That's the mermaid. Is that the mermaid? Is that, <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Okay, well been there done that. It's dark now again in the streets of Copenhagen, we're back in the centre. We've had our burgers, which isn't very original, but everything else was closed because it's Sunday and it wasn't really lunchtime anymore. So what else were we going to do? Fred was still hungry, so we've gone and get him some crisps. How are you crisps, pal? He's just munching on a bag of that. Uh, but our plan is the tower that we faked the view yesterday. We are going to go go up there because we thought there's no point of seeing the view during the day when it's cloudy and grey but over at night with all the like Christmas lights could be really cute so that's the idea, the palace is just over there Such queue This is how British people get to the front of the queue Okay I think we get to go here on the tower The view. <gasps> wow, what a view. Wow. 